Happy Australia Day! Or should I say, Happy Invasion Day? No, I should say Happy Australia Day, because referring to it as Invasion Day is extremely divisive and just causes hostility between Australians, which is the last thing we need in the world at the moment. Anyway, you'd think Australia's national broadcaster, the ABC, would know better. They published this article over the weekend titled, Australia Day Invasion Day 2021 Events, basically using the terms interchangeably. The West Australian reported that the ABC had given the green light for its reporters to use the divisive term, and I quote, The Australian Broadcasting Corporation says its presenters and staff are free to refer to January 26th as Invasion Day. Of course, this caused a bit of an uproar on both sides of politics, and the ABC ended up quietly changing the original headline from Australia Day Invasion Day to Australia Day is a contentious day for many. Here are the events being held on January 26th. You can still see their original post on Twitter, which states, What to do on Australia Day slash Invasion Day in 2021. I'll leave a link to this tweet in the description below. Now obviously, this isn't the only time the ABC have shown their political bias. Every year, Australian radio station Triple J, which is a division of the ABC, run their Hottest 100 Countdown, which basically allows listeners to vote for their favourite alternative songs. Up until 2018, it always used to be on Australia Day, but the ABC decided that playing people's favourite music on Australia Day was wrong, and changed the date, due to increasing controversy about Australia Day regarding its marking of the colonisation of Australia and dispossession of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander land. In this article about the Hottest 100 on the ABC News website, they published the following. Seven women featured in the top ten. Six songs appear from Indigenous artists, the most in Hottest 100 history. Why stop there? What about other Australians? What about Asian Australians? What about males? Why only mention females and Indigenous people? Again, this is the ABC being divisive. They have chosen to mention only two particular groups in society. Who makes these decisions? If they were truly being fair and equitable, they wouldn't have mentioned it at all. They should have just said, Here are the ten songs that you voted for. Enjoy! Why do they have to mention people's ethnicity and gender? If Indigenous people, or others, want to celebrate the fact that there were six Indigenous artists in the top ten, so be it. If feminists want to highlight the fact that there were seven women, okay, fine. They're free to do so. But is it really the place of the ABC to point out the sex or ethnic backgrounds of the artists, and only the sex and ethnic backgrounds that the ABC deem important? No, of course not. Of course, they're still at it. In today's headlines on the ABC, January 26th is a reminder that Australia still hasn't reckoned with its original sin. Journalist Kerry O'Brien rejects Australia Day honour in protest over divisive Margaret Court Award. Former ABC journalist Kerry O'Brien refuses to accept his Australia Day Award, saying the decision to give former tennis great Margaret Court the country's highest honour is deeply insensitive and divisive. Canberra Doctor returns Order of Australia medal in protest against Margaret Court 2021 Australia Day honour. For those who don't know, former tennis great Margaret Court is being promoted from an officer of the Order of Australia to a companion. She has been quite vocal about her views against LGBTQ relationships. Consequently, people like Kerry O'Brien and the Canberra Doctor are not accepting their awards, which I find a bit strange. How does their contribution to Australian society have anything to do with Margaret Court? Anyway, to each their own, I suppose. Triple J's hack program, obviously also run by the ABC, is teaching its viewers how to talk about not celebrating Australia Day. Although they admit that 70% of Australians support the holiday, they also point out that only 58% of Millennials and 47% of Gen Z were in favour of it, and so they've compiled this guide to help you navigate tricky questions if you're not celebrating Australia Day this year. Remember, this is taxpayer money funding this guide. Anyway, despite both sides of government attacking the ABC for posting divisive headlines, progressive Australian political activist group GetUp are claiming that the ABC is under attack and consequently GetUp need financial support to help preserve the ABC's editor sorry, editorial independence. Do you know what they're taking issue with? 
The proposed changes that will add the words fair and balanced into the ABC's charter, while this may sound like a reasonable or even worthwhile intervention to a national broadcaster's charter, the truth is much more concerning. These changes could open the door for politicians, fringe groups and vested interests to demand the ABC give substantive airtime to dangerous and discredited ideas. Hmm, all that from two words. Heaven forbid the ABC is fair and balanced. I suppose get up, wish that the ABC continue to be allowed to be unfair and imbalanced. Now obviously, people are allowed to have their opinions in a free society like Australia, but should it be the role of the ABC, Australia's national broadcaster, to take political sides? I don't think so. I think there are some basic rules that the ABC should follow. As the ABC is funded by all Australian taxpayers, it has a duty to remain neutral where contention arises. It should represent people of all political persuasions, not just the left or the right. It should report in fact. Obviously, that should be true for all news agencies. It should be unbiased. Using the term Invasion Day in its headlines is not unbiased. Mentioning the number of women and Indigenous people in the hottest 100, but not mentioning any other social groups, is not unbiased. When they do have political commentary, they should have contributors from all sides of politics in fairly even numbers. If you're only pushing one side of the argument, I'm sorry, that's biased. Look, I'm a fairly lefty libertarian for the most part. I'm a vegetarian who thinks that we should not be eating lamb on Australia Day. But do I think the ABC should be publishing articles encouraging Australians to go vegan on January 26th? No, of course not. I know I'm in a fringe group. I know I'm in the minority. Most Australians don't agree with me on that, and that's perfectly fine. The point being, the ABC needs to take a more centrist approach. Just as they don't just represent vegans, they don't just represent Aboriginal people either. They represent all Australians, so should be held accountable when they stray too far from the middle. Anyway, they're my thoughts. Thanks for watching. Oh, beauty.